What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Just released today, guys. One of my favorite products since they've released it since 2020. 2022. Panini Mosaic Football. Six box, half case break, picker teams, number one. All card ship, 10 packs per box, 15 cards per pack. Look for two autographs, five silvers, 15 mosaic parallels, and 20 inserts in every box. And uh, here we go. So there's Pikachu number one, and last one, Mojo Emma getting the Texans. Help me sell out. Okey So, remember, six box half case break means the second half of this case will be used for number two, which is also sold out and coming up next, or not coming up next, but after five star. So, rip that open. Go empty case, empty case. So let's do this. If we roll a one, two, three, we're gonna go at the top. Four, five, six with the bottom. There's six boxes on top, six boxes on bottom. So let's click the roller, and it's a one. So one, two, three. We're gonna go at the top six boxes. So these six will be used for the next break later too. Da -na -na -na. Mac Jones on this box here. We'll take the first box a little slow. Kind of get a feel for a look for these cards. I don't know how, how, how good I feel about this year's design yet. I know we kind of got a preview in the mosaic collegiate version but um let's see how it goes rank of four big products man mosaic came in here and just made a splash two years ago I, I feel like but if I have to be honest if we're just gonna rank them by what sells the best and what's the most popular? I, I have to assume it's Prism number one still. Has to be. Although I prefer like Optic with the on card. But I have to say Prism number one. I think at number two. It could. It could be like. It could be any one of those three, honestly. It could be, it could be Mosaic Optic, I feel like. So that I think is like third now. I don't know, select's a little weird now. My personal favorite? I'd probably go Mosaic, Optic, and then Prism. That's just me, though. Keyshawn Johnson, the Romeo Dub Silver. Ooh, the Overdrive looks really nice. Kind of like a little Genesis feel. Purdy? Got a sleeve of Purdy now, right? Alright, Chris. A lot of con? Little Tilo. The number to 99 with Tom Brady silver. Is that like a USA edition or what? Merc. Straight fire looks really nice this year. I'm just gonna throw a sleeve on that. So it looks nice. 
Chris Olave. Whoa. Desmond Ritter, blue chips. Number to 99. Lamar Jackson, Taysom Hill. Stairmasters looks really cool. Little Debo. Rashawn White, and I think the reds are still just normal colors. Under Fournette, Tom Brady, silver. Men of Master, that looks really, really nice. And again, I'm, I'm just leaving up. I don't expect everybody to do the same as me, but <laughs> just leaving it up just because it looks nice. At least throw a sleeve on that. Little uh, purple, violet, Keenan Allen to 49, center stage. And would you look at that, first box. Michael Bellucci was a big Steelers guy. Look at that, your chase is over for at least a base to 99. Boom! Actually, that's a blue. Blue Kenny Pickett rookie autographs. Just like that in box number one. And did we get a first auto? Oh yeah, we did. That's right. We got this quarterback. And actually, what do you know? It ended up being two Steelers. Well, yeah, also, g, -G I think one thing that people hate now is that Select at one point was, like, one of the only SKUs that wasn't retail. And now it's all over the place in retail, which you make even more of those parallels. Just mass-produce those. So, I think pre-retail Select was a lot better. I need to get me a Donovan McNabb autograph, guys, out of here. So if anybody has the Eagles and you pull one and you want to sell, let me be the guy to buy it off of you. You do cash, trade, whatever you guys want. I, I always get cards, so. Masters Josh Allen. Is that a gold I see? Is that a gold I see? And it is Quandre Diggs. Gold. Uh, one of ten for the Seattle Seahawks. It's Devin. Barry Sanders. Whoa, 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 whoa. don't want to show that. 900 points. Thankfully it wasn't thrown backwards. Skylar Thompson. Christian Watson. There's my boy. I think McNabb must have signed a deal with Panini this past season because he's starting to sign in a lot of 2022 products. Drake London Red. He's one dude that actually still sells pretty well for an Eagle. Because, again, he's, just, he's one of those guys that just rarely has signed as much.
Probably. I mean, he, he probably didn't get paid a lot of money compared to other quarterbacks. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's doing well for himself. I, I see him do a lot of, like, different stuff, and he comes out on, like, on Fox for, like, football, sometimes for college football, too, and then I think he has a podcast. And I mean, he lives in Arizona. So, I mean, I'm sure he bought a house early in his career there in Arizona. And uh, he probably has multiple houses everywhere. So, I'm sure he's still doing fine. But I'm sure he doesn't mind a little bit of extra cash for the card game. Romeo Dubs. Men of Mastery. That chunky suit money, man. You guys remember how big that was, honestly? Like, if you... You were big time if you came out on Chunky Noodle Soup commercials. Traylon Burks. Fletch. I think they still do those today. Did, that, didn't, like, uh, Sean McVay come out on one of those recently? I don't think they're as big anymore, though. Chris Olave. Ooh, that card looks beautiful. Center stage. That must be numbered, right? Purple? Yeah. One of 49. Herbie. Fields. Swagger. Jamar Chase. That looks beautiful, too. Isn't Campbell's Chunky Soup? Isn't that the same thing? I didn't realize they were separate. And Zamir White is your second autograph. Keekly, Derrick Henry, Red. Blue Chips can't pick it. I don't know. I, I thought it was like, unless I'm wrong, and it was just like Campbell's Chunky Noodle Soup. But, they, yeah, they could be separate. I don't know. <laughs> Smurr McNabb and his mom. All those commercials. But actually, McNabb's uh, niece and nephew are actually very good athletes, though. You guys know that fun fact? McNabb's nephew, uh, his uh, nephew on his uh, sister. Sister's son is uh, Darnell Nurse for the, for the Edmonton Oilers. And then I believe his niece or his daughter is like a very, very good, I think, volleyball player, too. Yeah, it might just be a version of a version of Campbell's. It's like Bowman. All right, it's tops, but but uh, we know it's Bowman because it's its own little division. Did I jump? Sorry about that, buddy. I'll go back and get it. That damn Brock Purdy. How crazy this, right? Brock Purdy now. I was looking at his stuff sell the other day. It was pretty amazing. Good for people to make some good money on that. <laughs> Let's see. Birdie. Birdie. No, no, no worries, man. If I miss anything, please let me know. Especially like that. That Purdy now is probably like a $5, $10 card when it used to probably be like a $0.50 cent card. You know? And they'll probably add up. And again, I don't have a, a sleeve top load list, so I'm just kind of winging it. Kenny Pickett, we'll do Purdy now, you know. Colors of the bigger rookies uh, and, like, receivers and stuff. But, like I said, everything's shipping, you know, so don't worry. I don't personally make the decisions on the sleeving stuff, but I like to just at least leave a lot of these players just in case. Blue chips. 
So again, I, I can't do everything though. Just uh, for people to understand that though. <laughs> like I'll leave with these ones, right? Kenneth Walker colors and stuff like that. Although these cards all look really nice. They cannot all be sleeved. And Dahan Dotson. Good receiver there too as well for the commanders. Mike. Chris Olave, true silver there. Jameson Williams. Mike Woods. Again, the center stage looks a really nice card. I do like this design. I, I don't like the design of the base card, but I do like the other insert cards, though. Dalvin Cook. Look at that little red Joe Burrow. Ooh. In it to win it. Reggie Wayne. And that's a blue. Number to 99. Joey B. Joey B. Sam Howe, purple, Commanders, Mike with that one, to 49. Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay. If he has that, he probably does a good shot to win MVP. If he can do that against the Bills defense, right? Men of Mastery, nice color match there of Derrick Henry. To 99, Tennessee Titans, EA. Zach Wilson. He's got to be done in New York now, right? No way he comes back. <laughs> I'm going to Fiji. <laughs> Are you selling that card this year? Is the question, though, Chad. Are you selling that card this year? David Ajabo. Beautiful looking card too, Bill Jackson. Ninety five percent, you would. I'm going to take that five percent, I'm going to say no. I don't think you do. I think you're going to look even long-term for that dude. Because honestly, you have one of those cards that is a kind of long-term investment, really. You're right. You have one of his nicer RPAs from like a Holy Grail kind of product. And if he wins MVP, wins a Super Bowl, who's to say he doesn't win another MVP or wins another Super Bowl in his career? And it's one you hold on to for a very long time. But I think it probably would be smarter to just get rid of it if he wins MVP slash Super Bowl and just take it. Like, don't regret it. You only paid X amount for the break. Just take it, you know? That's what I'm saying, you know? But I think I'm going to take the 5% and you don't sell it, okay? And then when I win that little bet... I'm gonna own like one percent of the card, at least. So if you you know you get a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand for that card, you know you can kick me two thousand dollars or something, you know. Well, what does it matter though, Chad? You got four hundred thousand. Trust me, I I personally know people that bought a ton of those trouts early in his career and was was content on what they got at the time. And some of them have regrets, some of them don't because 
they were happy with what they got at the time. Birdie. But it's still $400,000, Chad. Come on. Man, stop being ungrateful. Not everybody can get million dollar cards, Chad. Len Dawson, Jalen Hurts, Jahan Dotson. Aaron Rodgers. To 49. That's your problem, Chad. <laughs> A lot of people would very be content with what they got <laughs> and just take it. That's why I'm taking the 5%, man. I, I don't believe you're going to sell it. Traylon Burks. Tennessee Titans going to EA. Fields. Jones, Lawrence Taylor, Ricky Williams. And Cam Taylor Britt. That is, sorry, Cam Taylor Britt is a Bengal. Cincinnati Bengals, Darwin. Danny Dimes, blue. Number 99. And a Justin Fields montage. Is he really? Number one corner? What? He wasn't good enough to go to the rookie premiere for them? Why the hell they have him in a freaking combine clothes? I wouldn't know though, Chad. I don't really pay attention to the Bengals. Oh, <laughs> so he's number one now, but because of his injuries. But at the time, though, Jim, were you happy with sixty dollars? See, my thing, my thing is that we just you you we can't we can't always predict. How good a player is going to be down the uh, down the road years later, and you can't just save everything. You can't hoard everything, <laughs> right? Unless you're financially that good, like stable, where you can hoard everything and just collect and not have to sell. Then, kudos. But you just can't always expect to hold everybody and expect them to be actually that big of a player. Whoa. Whoa, we got one of those, uh, what are these called again? I forget. Uh, bu um, why is it blanking in my head? What, what are these called again? This is one of the case hits in here. A bust. Bust, there it is, yeah. Uh, Tony Dorsett. And that is a cowboy. So there you go. Dallas Cowboys, that's Gabriel. But yeah, uh, you know, you can't expect everything to be good, so. Just gotta sell and move on, guys. Sell and move on. There'll, there'll always be another one. Whoa, redemption. I want to say they're fairly similar because I'm one of those guys that rather have the true. I'm annoying. I get it. It is annoying. 
you know, call me why, tell me why I'm like that, but I'm just one of those people that rather have the true. You right? But your stars and stripes, though, is no, not a bad version to have. Because you could only get it in first off the line, so. I think if you had, like, the out of, like, you know, other variation numbers, like out of 49, 25, then for sure yours would be much better. Rogers. But yours is probably pretty close on, on spot on, I'd assume. To 499 Aaron Rodgers. Swagger, man, beautiful looking card. But I think a PSA 10 and it's a true RPA to 99 is a very strong card though. Oh, did I pass Malik Base 2? Sorry about that, EA. Although, I know you're a big Titans fan, though, right, EA? Why aren't they playing Malik Willis? Why bring a guy in uh, from the street to play when you have Malik Willis? Oh, that's Jeffrey Simmons. Sorry. Malik wasn't ready? What? That's not a good sign. For your future. Like, ready to play or just ready because for that? For the moment? on this one. Wanda Robinson. Joe Montania. Jarno Mooney. Is that gold? Straight fire! Actually, the straight fire answers look really cool. I will say. Burrow. Then we got one more auto coming up. Jeremy Rucker. Yeah, Malik Willis, they, they got to let him do his, his own thing. Cater to him. He's just one of those quarterbacks that you're going to have to let him do what he does best. Can't make him be somebody he's not. All right, here we go. Rookie Mosaic autographs. Card number 18. George Pickens. Very nice break for the Steelers. Pick it auto now pickings. I assume there's probably big changes coming to Tennessee, right? I don't know, EA, tell me this though. Do you hate that the Titans traded AJ Brown? I, I guess you guys just didn't want to pay him, right? That's what it all came down to. I would, I mean, I would think AJ Brown on that team would have been a lot better. I mean, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'll take him. I'll pay him his hundred million dollars. He's ever worth every penny. I just remember that one video of uh, draft day when you could totally tell what's his name, uh, the head coach. Rabel was so pissed when they announced the AJ Brown deal. And like, I think the GM was like so happy. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying, right? Didn't he get fired? It's like, bro, 
It's like he probably did it behind Vrabel's back, or Vrabel's like, no, don't do it. Because Vrabel's, uh, Vrabel's one of those player coaches, obviously, that knows that I don't care. Like, he's a game changer. You can't just let him go. Can't trade him, you know? Pay him. Keep him happy. Oh, you're a Giants fan, Jim? Yeah. Well, I think they've had a much better season than anticipated, right? They're still in the playoff hunt. Potentially making the playoffs, right? Good to see that Saquon has been relatively healthy. I know he had that shoulder injury, but for the most part, right? He's been pretty healthy. I feel like I haven't seen any bad things about Daniel Jones as much this year either, so... I don't know. Is he going to be your guy long term? Are you guys paying him after the season after all? And Pierre Strong Jr. There's the leak there. But yeah, guys, if I do miss any of those bigger players, especially the quarterbacks, please let me know. I won't take it offensive. I'm, I'm trying to learn like the, the the player like uh, positioning so that way I can go a little bit faster and, and you know pull them out as I go. So. If I miss anything, don't think that I just didn't want to do it. Once I get zoned in and learned down a product, then I'm pretty pretty efficient. <clears throat> well, they even have Malcolm Rodrigo right there. <coughs> Kenneth Walker Silver. Ooh, that's a nice Malik Willis right there. Introductions. I think Kayvon has done pretty well for the Giants. I mean, I know he had that monster game two two weeks ago. The forced fumble recovery and a touchdown, a couple sacks. That was one player I, would wa I wish the Eagles would have drafted, but I knew it probably wasn't going to happen. He would he was going to be gone by then. Wow. We have one of those photons, or not photons, they're called honey, honeycombs? Jeremy Ford. Those are actually pretty extremely rare. And whoa, is this Justin Jefferson? It is. Nice JJ for the Vikings. Going to Jerry. Got a lot of Rogers color, I will say. It's 99. Another Joe Burrow straight fire. Patty Mahomes, USA. Wow, they have Andrew Luck in there. Alrighty, guys. So, there you go. First six boxes in the books. Do a quick little autograph recap for you guys. So, Justin Jefferson for the Vikings. Pierre Strong Jr. for the Patriots. Cam Taylor Britt for the Bengals. He did get one of those case hits the bust. Tony Dorsett for the Cowboys. David Ajabo for... Um, Baltimore. This is Amir White running back for the Raiders. We did get one gold. Quandra, uh, Quandre Diggs to 10. Probably one of the biggest hits, right? Kenny Pickett to 99 blue. Uh, we got a another quarterback here. Steelers. Um, that is uh, Chris Oladukun. 
Traylon Burks auto, Jeremy Rucker for the Jets, Jahan Dotson, George Piggins. And uh, then we had 900 points, actually. That'll be given out there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. Perfect. And then all these cards, numbered, sleeves, rookies, all that good stuff. I think the gold is the shortest print we got. But again, the second half is in the store. So we'll be doing that soon. Let's see who gets the 900 points. Everybody gets a shot at it. Actually, sorry. What did I do that for? Let's just copy and paste the names. Let's get a new dice roll. Two and a six, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth, and final time. Eight times, Chris Butler. Hey, I don't know if I called your name out there, but 900 points, which I think every 250 points is like seven to ten bucks, so it's like it's not the worst right there. So appreciate sure, guys. Coming up next is five star, and then uh, go through orders. And I'm pretty sure Mosaic two sold out. And then I want to say also three and four at one left. So we'll be running those back as well too. So appreciate sure, guys. Thanks.